If you want to know about the latest news and changes to economic stimulus packages, you can watch Stimulus Updates. Ali here, and I'm your host. Today, we have some great news to share with you. But before we get to today's changes, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you never miss a thing that has to do with stimulus. During these tough times, we're here to keep you updated and give you power. Okay, let's begin right away. Get ready for a wild ride of financial news that could affect millions of people across the U.S. We'll bring you the newest and most exciting news about the economy of the country. First, there's the scary debt limit, which means a financial storm is coming. If the U.S. goes over this important limit, it could be bad for people who get Social Security. Keep your hats on, because experts say that Social Security checks might not come in as soon as planned. The National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare is raising the alarm because the debt limit has not been raised. It's possible that people won't be able to make their full and on-time pension, Medicare, Medicaid, and other payments. Keep your seatbelts on, because the ride for winners could be rough, and now we'll move on to student loan payments. Want to know when the break will end? Well, well, we're no longer in the dark. During a Senate meeting, the Education Secretary confirms a payment date, which means that borrowers should get ready to start making payments again before the end of August. At least 60 days after June 30, the Biden administration hopes to start making payments on student loans again. People, get ready. August 29 is the day you should remember. That's not all, though. The argument over drug costs and deductibles is very close to where we sit. That's not just a bother for us. For many Americans, it's a big worry. Even though Microsoft, ExxonMobil, and Walmart are giving bonuses and pay raises, the fight over fair wages is still going on. Which side will win this fight for workers' rights? Fans, fasten your seatbelts because the crazy ride with money doesn't end here. In the middle of Capitol Hill, a political drama is playing out that could change the way business is done. Right now, Republican and Democratic leaders are in a high-stakes fight over the important subject of giving the government more borrowing power. Let's break down this game of political chess. What's at stake here is the very basis of how the government handles its money. The question that everyone is thinking about is whether both sides of the line will be able to find common ground or whether we are speeding towards a financial disaster that could be very bad. What is at stake is nothing short of huge. It is not just a matter of political fighting to give the government more borrowing power. It's a very important part of keeping the country's finances running. It's possible that not coming to a deal would have huge effects that would be felt not only in the United States, but also around the world. Imagine that the government might not be able to pay its debts. People in households, businesses, and the financial markets are all worried about the idea alone. There will be a lot of doubt which could cause a chain reaction of economic problems that affect everything from interest rates to stock markets and, in the end, people's ability to make a living. Don't let go, because the fun doesn't end there. For people who hit full retirement age in 2020, the highest amount of money they can earn has gone up to $48,600. The price, cut to an unbelievable $1 withheld for every $3 made above the maximum. As you, S News was the first to report. Are you ready for the big reveal? When you hit full retirement age, your benefit goes through a huge change that carefully takes into account the benefit you are not getting and your ongoing wages. And now for the crazy turn in the story. Once you reach full retirement age, you can work as much as you want and not have to worry about Social Security taking money away from you. It changes everything and the thrill is electric. The latest news from you. S News says that if you're not yet fully retired, a shocking 50% of your social benefits could be temporarily held back. Not to worry though, because we know how to handle this like a pro in the business world. The mighty 401k is the undisputed king of the world of money. It's a retirement plan that could lead you to financial paradise. Please rate your sales for the game changer.
Some companies are giving you an extra bonus by matching up to 5% of every paycheck you get. It's pretty much like getting money for free. Putting some of your paycheck into this golden goose is all you have to do. In order to make the most of your 401k, experts say you should put away about 15% of your gross income. We don't lie, and neither do the numbers. This could be the secret source that will help you save a lot more money. Give an hour, a groundbreaking free and private mental health resource created just for veterans facing a wide range of problems is breaking down barriers and taking the lead. And that's not all. Veterans who are struggling with different illnesses may find hope in SSDI, which helps and supports those who have bravely served our country. There is a clash of ideas and goals at the heart of this political chess match. Republican leaders stress the importance of being responsible with money and call for strict conditions to be put on any new borrowing power. On the other hand, Democratic leaders say that the debt limit needs to be raised so that ongoing financial obligations can be met. They stress how terrible it would be if the debt was not paid. In an unexpected turn of events, Republican Senator Josh Hawley presents the Keep Our Promises Act, which would protect Social Security and Medicare from the debt ceiling. This is being done to make sure that these important programs are never used as political trading chips. Will enough people back this act for it to really make a difference? There's more, though. We're going to talk about insurance in Florida, where the prices of home and car insurance are going through the roof because of inflation. Also, since we're talking about money, states have been given a huge $195 billion to give to their people as stimulus checks. The catch is that some are giving tax refunds and others are sending checks from a 50 to a huge $11,000. Which state is the winner in the stimulus game? In the last part of this financial story, two state senators want to change a bill that would help people in energy emergencies. What's the twist? Before spending close to $500 million, they want to hear from people. Will this plan change make the main stimulus program less stable? Keep your money close. Folks, the world of money is changing, and we're here to show you all the turns and twists. Stay tuned for more news about this exciting money story. This is the end of the movie for today. I'll see you in the next movie. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like the video so you can see more.